Hey everyone, this is Monkey1000 and today I had to overdib because um, for some reason the mic didn't work right. I don't know why, but it didn't. Stay tuned. So what we're doing, we are going to do the skinny, skinny stacks, two in a pack, and they're space savers to keep your food fresh. It's a buy as seen on TV product and as you can tell what I'm showing you is the front and um, telling you that you can use this for meats and fruits and vegetables and more and it's a reusable it's dishwasher safe and you can also use part of it in the microwave so that is what I'm showing you at the moment <laughs> and uh, I don't know what happened with the audio. <laughs> Something happened. So, anyways, it's only part of it, and the rest of it is fine. <laughs> Go figure, right? So, um, I'm opening it up and letting you know what it looks like. And it gives you a little bit of directions there. Um, I show you the directions and it's uh, how you wash it and how you're supposed to stack it properly uh, you have to stack the the meat or the, the vegetables or the fruit into the middle part of the container and it has sliders on the side which I show you um, there are little white tabs there and one side's the month and the other side is the day and you can put that in there so you know how long it's been in the fridge and I'm just explaining a little bit of it um, you can take it apart the top part comes off I'm talking about these nibs still <laughs> the sides and they come apart too. You can take them off and snap them back on. Uh, you can take the lid off and snap it back on. Because you can't take the lid and put it in the microwave. So you have to take the lid off. Um, so you can separate them. Now these were, were uh, I think it was like 1998 at Walmart um, for two. You get two of them. I only used the one in this um, video because I was doing a comparing thing I put fruit on them and I compared from uh, two different other containers compared to this container to see how well it would um, do and now my idea was to do it for a uh, uh, three days and I was going to come back and I was going to do a little bit longer to show you a difference but things got changed and um, you know things got moved around a little bit so uh, I went a week and then I came back tonight and um, so when I tried to upload this video it just kind of <laughs> I didn't have any audio for the first part so sometimes if you don't put those mics in right in the back of the camera it, it it looks like it's in there but if it's not all the way in there you won't get a good enough connection to get so you can hear me so I think that's probably what happened so um, now I'm gonna try to take it apart I had a little bit of difficulty trying to get it apart um, I was trying to find out how you opened it up and then I found it in the front there and I snap them apart there you go and you see I opened it up fine they are nice and big but they tell you to keep everything close into the middle which to me is a waste of space around it so and you can only like one big huge piece of meat a steak could go in there but um, if you had two or three pieces of steak it, you're only going to get one in there now two small size um, pork chops or chicken you could probably put two in there but they have to be small because the outer part of it you, you can't have anything hanging out of the uh, 
tray and you can't have it too close to the edge because it has to seal with that plastic on top so um, somewhat I thought it was okay somewhat I didn't really like it um, I didn't like the price of them I didn't think they were very good on the price now this is my Dollar Tree that I, I bought this for a dollar at Dollar Tree um, and I'm going to use this uh, as a compare and I also have another container that I bought I bought that at Winn-Dixie and I got it for a dollar at Winn-Dixie in their dollar um, aisle and so um, we're going to use all three of them and we're going to I'm going to use blueberries that's what I did and the blueberries I put a little bit in each one and um, I was going I went get the blueberries <laughs> that's why it disappeared so there's the blueberries in my hand <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm going to take a little bit and put it in each one and then we're going to put them in the fridge and I said I was going to come back in three days and it wasn't it was a lot longer so that's what I'm doing here and uh, I keep looking at my watch to make sure you can see me <laughs> there you go I brought you down so you can see them <laughs> more than me so I just plop some in, in each one And I tried to make it even. I mean, you know. Um, yeah. I think I just took a handful and put it in there. That's all I did. I don't know why I kept looking over there. There was something over there bothering me. And then we're going to open this little doodad. And we're going to put some in there. And you got to put them in the middle. And I think I was trying to see how it was going to seal. Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I just grab some more and put it in there. And then I close the lid that lid is really hard to close it gets stuck in the it comes out of the little holes there so you kind of got to play with it to, to close it which was to to me was a little cheap you know they could have made it a little bit nicer um, plastic felt cheap I think too so now you got it in there and what you do you put it in the fridge and it, it, in time it seals it all the way around the fruit so then air can't get into it or anything so and that's it that's all you do I'm showing you how it goes around the plastic and you have to keep it in the middle that's what I was showing you here And I was reading to see if I needed to do anything else, I think. And that was it. That's all you have to do. And so. And I was showing you on the sides here, you have on the side. Um, the day in the month and I was trying to figure out how they worked and and they don't slide real easy either to me they uh, you know you, I kind of snapped it off you can snap them off and I put it where it needed to be it was a lot easier doing it that way than trying to slide it it was not very easy to slide if you had bad hands you wouldn't have been able to do it so you, you can clip them off and then and bring them down and then I had it I think I thought the other the opposite side was the month and the other one side was the day and I had the wrong way so I had to change it and that's what I did here I kind of was trying to figure them out so 
Yeah, I'm trying to show you which is the sides here. So, and which is nice to have, you know, you don't have to put a label on it like the other two containers you would have to do. You know, people label them and put the dates on them so they know how bad they're going to go. But on this, you know, I mean, if they made it nicer where you could slide it, see how hard I'm ha having trouble with it? I mean, it just wouldn't slide. And I think it's supposed to, it just not, it just wouldn't. So I figured out that you take it off and then you snap it right back on where, where you want it. Which is, you know, if you've got bad hands and, and, and that, you wouldn't be able to do that. And a kid couldn't do it, you know, a 13-year-old that well, was helping parents or whatever in the kitchen. They wouldn't have been able to snap those on and snap them off. You have to have some strength to them. Even I had no strength to them. I finally got it off. Yeah, see how hard they are? And they just don't slide, and when they do, it, it hurt my hand. Ugh, it was terrible. Okay, guys, I will see you in a week, and um, we'll, we'll continue. Hey, everyone, this is Monkey1000, and today we're going to finish up the review that we did. It is longer than three days. It's a week. Things got busy and working. I didn't get home until late. So, um, but that's okay because we have a whole weekend now and we can check these out and see how good they, you know, compare from the container and see um, which is better or are they all the same? Let's find out. Hey guys, so I got you down lower so you can see. Now this is the Dollar Tree container and remember we put blueberries in every one of them and we'll open it up and show you what it looks like. This is after a whole week, not three days, okay? Um, yeah, so they're starting to kind of make some kind of color here, like a mold or something that's growing on them. But you could wipe it off. And do I think you could eat it? Yeah, I think you could. And I'll try it. Let me wash it off. Rinse it off a little bit. And yeah, that's it. Well, it's all rinsed off. That's what it looks like. So let me taste it. That's what it looks like inside. There you go. Mm. It still has flavor. It's fine. A little crispier than it was. But not bad. I don't know what that is in there though. Probably seeds. That's what I'm thinking it is. So that's not too bad. And these were a dollar. Now I get these. I buy the ones with the sandwiches in them, I mean the meat in them, and I get the containers free. So I use them. Now look at this. You got mold in here. I'm not going to try this one because there's mold in here. As you can see, you can see around the corner there. And you can see the mold on the uh, things. Let me get one out. And this one's starting to shrivel. See the mold? So that's a whole week in one of these free containers you see I think I paid a dollar for this one that's that's a lie I think yeah these I came I got them at the grocery store for a dollar so yeah that wasn't the meat one and uh, this is what they look like so and look they're starting to squish say I wouldn't eat this no not even going to try it so and this is over a week. And this is our lovely 
new one that costs two for 20 bucks as seen on TV. So we're gonna open it up, see how it seals. Got nice seal on it. But you gotta put everything in the middle. So you got all this space around here that is wasteful, you know, because everything's gotta be in the middle. So now if you had a piece of meat, you just put it right in the meat, middle. But if you had two pieces of meat, then you'd have to probably put one in this one and one in the other one. So let's open it up. Hopefully you can see. <sighs> Gotta unlock them. There we go. And I made a little indent on the top, if you can see that. Let's see how I did that with the things. Now these aren't as mildewy. They look like they're getting, you know, a little bit on there, but nothing really bad. And I could wipe rinse this off and I probably will try to eat it. And there you go, see? That's nice. Let's open this up real quick. Yeah, see? Ooh. Ooh, it's kind of going rotty in the front middle. It kind of is. I don't know. I'm afraid to try this. I don't need to get sick. Yeah. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try. That looks nasty. <laughs> Sorry. It smells fine. I mean, there really is no smell to it. You know, it doesn't smell bad. Here, let me let me take a bite, and we'll see. I'll bring it up so you know I'm eating it. There you go. So, hmm, tastes fine. Yeah. I just uh, I think those are seeds that are in there. That's got to be seeds. Yeah. So, yeah, not bad. So, to me, this one's completely out. No good. Can't use this for anything because it's just going to mildew real quick. So, I've learned my lesson on this one. These, for a whole dollar, you can get one of these little containers. You can take it out. And you can rinse them off and do whatever you want with them. Put them back in and lid is on it. And it snaps right in for a whole dollar. I am impressed with this little thing. Very impressed. This thing didn't do, I'll bring you down because this is bigger. Um, yeah. This thing doesn't seem like it did. I mean, it, it did fine, really, it did fine. But why go spend 20 bucks for two of these when you can go to Dollar Tree and get a bunch of these for a dollar? So to me, I think this is a winner out of all of them. And uh, yeah, my other thing with this is that you put a whole piece of meat in here, you know, you it, it can't be side to side. It has to be right in the middle. So they should have made this round, not square. But the nice thing is you can wash it in a dishwasher. You can also take the lid off and you can put this in the microwave to reheat. So that's kind of nice. So it depends on your budget and what you like the best. But honestly, I mean, would I buy this again? No, I would not buy these again. I'm not going to spend $20 for two of these. No. But would I buy this again? Heck yeah, i go buy me another one. A couple of them. And put them in, put my fruit in them. And I know that my fruit is going to last a week. And they're going to be fresh a week. So, there you go. Next time I'll try maybe a meat in here and I'll let you know in a review that, you know, how well the meat went. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for now, y'all. I hope you liked the video. Sorry. I, I was going to do a three day and then I was going to do a week, but everything got messed up. So, I got a whole weekend anyways. And that's good to know because I think three days would have been fine. You still wouldn't have seen much of a difference. So, um, yeah, now you see a difference. Very good. 
So I know not to do it this way because these things don't last long. I mean, if you were doing it for a day or a couple of days, fine. But if you do it for a whole week, obviously not. So anyways, that's it for now, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Still the weekend. It's the start of mine. I work today. So I have two days off. I go to work and then I'm off because I was just a temporary thing. So I'm back at home again. So anyways, that's it for now. Y'all take care and have a good rest of the week. And if I don't get another video up. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye y'all.